That right there is the best food place that I ever eaten food in all of Toronto. My favorite place smokes routine and there is a for lease sign on it which makes me real and the lights are off. So I'm realizing now that smokes routine has closed. This is a very hard thing for me to accept right now in my life is that smokes routine is no longer a thing. I ran into my friend Naisha um, on the elevator and she was like, here, take this. I know you like them. These are Timbits. Like, if there's one other Canadian staple that I love other than poutine, it's Timbits. It basically is a donut hole, or like if you've ever been to Dunkin' Donuts, I guess it's like a munchie. It's a little donut, literally. It's just a donut hole. But they come in all different flavors, more than just original glazed. I think this is maple, got sour cream glaze, which sounds weird, but it's actually pretty good. Um, they have apple fritter, salted caramel. Um, they probably got something for chocolate lovers out there too. I'ma get down on these timbits, okay? There's a tradition I have in Toronto called Sunday brunch. And so I usually try to find someplace new every single week if I can. And today's adventure has us going to Le Petit Dejeuner, which means... Small de giorno. <laughs> exactly. Tyler, is that right? Yes. Tyler's Canadian, so he can confirm everything French for us. So we made it inside, and we waited a little bit, like a, close to an hour, I think. But it wasn't that, it, but we're being told that it's totally worth it. And everyone's getting hooked up with mimosas and coffee or tea. And then, do you guys know what you want? Uh, I'm going to get the eggs benedict. <laughs> no? I'm a hungry gal. I'm getting the Brussels melody. And I'm going to do my traditional double brunch, which means I order two meals. So I get the best of both worlds. Okay, so we finished our first week of training, and so now we are celebrating with pizza! Yeah. We got four pizzas for five people who are here, and we're gonna eat all of it, and then we're gonna go to Cafe Crepe later. I have to let you know that in Canada, you can get poutine on your pizza! What? That, I gotta, I gotta take the first, I gotta try it. Okay. It's got gravy, it's got cheese, it's got fries. Let's try it out. Uh -huh. mm. It's not very good. <laughs> oh no! Oh no! Wait. Oh. So we are walking to Cafe Crate and um, Mel has seen something crazy. The CN Tower has disappeared. You can't see it. I'm just saying the next Despicable Me movie is going to be really good. <laughs> <laughs> After sweating all day of ponying for our lives, we did the shimmy, we did the shake, we clapped our hands. And we turned ourselves around. And then we turned ourselves around. <laughs> um, we are on our way to Smoke's Poutinery. Okay, do you remember when I showed you guys that it was closed for renovation? And I had, I had that moment where I cried? So. I'm not gonna cry anymore. Well, I'm gonna still cry probably. The lights are on. We have reached the Mecca. Oh. Someone's upstairs. Yeah. Can we like cheer when we go in there? Is that weird? I'm gonna do it. <laughs> Congratulations, you guys, on reopening. I have been waiting for this day since like two weeks ago. This is my favorite place in the entire city. It's my absolute favorite place. My favorite location? My favorite location. It's the only one I've ever gone to. I've got chicken fajita. Tyler got traditional. Gotta go with Weston got traditional. Jacqueline got chicken inferno. So spicy. And then Charlotte got a diet coke. A diet coke. <laughs> yeah. It's and all about watching your fingers. It's all about balance. It's all about that I'm 
absolutely nowhere else I'd rather be, except for our team gathering that we will be going to after. But as of right now, this is the only place I can be. Mm -hmm. Hello. Hello. Oh my God. You may be thinking that this is a different day from the routine, but it's actually just the next 20 minutes. Yeah. Oh well.